Please subscribe Sporta TV for more information. MotoGP and Formula 1 2023. Mark Marquez has shed light on why only a single engineer followed him from Honda to Grazzini. His switch from MotoGP juggernaut Repsol Honda to one of the paddock's smaller teams will define the next chapter of his esteemed career. Javi Ortiz is the sole engineer to make the move alongside Marquez even his longtime crew chief Santi Hernandez remained at Honda. A new documentary has revealed a much different team dynamic that Marquez is entering. Nadia Padovani, Grazzini team owner, told the Zone, my husband Fausto would be super happy about all this. Because although he, like us, did not imagine that a day like today could come, in which Mark would be part of our family, he would surely be very proud and very happy. Marquez added, for Nadia and her entire family it is very important that I am on their team, because Fausto flattered me a lot. His wife, Nadia, is now in charge. Michelle Massini, Grazzini sporting director, said, I always think, every day, I try to remember everything that, Fausto, has taught us, because I think he is the living part of this team. Nadia added, we are a family at heart, we always try to be well. Psychologically we don't want to put more pressure on the writers, we are always available for anything. This goes some way into explaining why Marquez did not want to overwhelm his new, family team with the high-profile inner circle which surrounded him since his glory days at Honda. Nor does my influence within the box have to change that Grazzini family, Marquez insisted. That is the reason why I have brought one of the members of my Repsol team to Grazzini, but not the entire team. Because they have their family, their environment. By changing a writer you cannot destroy that family, I have to adapt to it. Marquez's new crew chief will be Frankie Carcati, who worked with Fabio Di Antonio last season at Grazzini. An interesting talking point has been raised which might increase the optimism around Mark Marquez's championship hopes. The cancellation of the Argentina round of the 2024 MotoGP season will benefit Marquez, according to his ex-teammate Paul Espargaro. Argentina was scheduled to be the third round of the new season, on April 5-7, but was cancelled due to government restrictions. The season was reduced from 22 rounds to 21, as a result. Espargaro believes that losing this race from the earliest weeks of the season plays into Marquez's hands. Normally we have this line full of Asked if Marquez can fight for the championship this year, Espargaro told Marca, yes, I see it as possible. Above all, it will depend on what he does in the first races or what his rivals do in the first races. If you don't gain much distance in the first races until you reach Europe, which are the most complicated races, you can do it. The good thing is that there will no longer be a race in Argentina and this favors Mark because it is a circuit where he does not have much experience riding, such as Jerez, for example. And if they don't gain much distance in these first races, I think that in the second half of the season is where Marquez can increase his performance. He will have already accumulated much more experience on the bike. Of course he can be a champion because he has incredible talent and the GP23 is a competitive bike to win the world championship, there is no doubt about that. Marquez is swapping Repsol Honda for Grazzini Ducati for this year. After a promising preseason testing, Marquez's first race on a Ducati is the season opener in Qatar on March 8. He will ride a year-old Ducati with title rivals Peko Banyaya and Jorge Martin stepping onto the new, developed bike. Not today. I'm not tired enough. Espargaro said about the dominant Ducati which Marquez will fascinatingly now ride, well, it has many things together. It has a lot of stability, maybe it doesn't have as much turn, but it makes up for it a lot with the aerodynamic issue. They have been the first to create that streamlined world in which everyone is focused and working. Therefore they have some advantage over the other factories. Right now, the aerodynamic issue is what all the factories are trying to work on to improve the motorcycles and, there, Ducati is no one in the competition. They understand perfectly what they have to touch when a problem arises. I think that is the key to their superiority and what makes the difference with other factories. Espargaro is a test and reserve rider for KTM this season. He spent two seasons alongside Marquez at Repsol Honda, in the eight-time champion's difficult period as injuries hampered him. 
On the other hand, Paul Espargaro has admitted relief at not racing full-time this year due to the physical toll of injuries. Espargaro's 10 seasons as a MotoGP rider were ended by KTM's decision to replace him with Pedro Acosta in their Tech 3 Gaskas project this season. His 2023 was blighted by an awful crash in Portimao on the first weekend which resulted in jaw, spine, and lung injuries. He will be a test and reserve rider for KTM in 2024. Become a MotoGP rider again? Phew, well I don't know, he told Marca. Honestly, in the tests I looked good and I feel fast. And, furthermore, I am recovering my optimal physical condition, which is what I lost after the injury. In any case, God will say. But the injuries suffered a year ago have changed Espargaro's mindset slightly. When you are young you forget it quickly, he said. But as you get older it is a backpack that gets heavier and heavier. When you get up you notice pain that you didn't have, and that is due to falls you have had. I have to confess that in many moments I do feel relieved to no longer race full time. To give an example, I spoke with my brother who fell at turn 5 in Qatar doing the fastest lap. He was going very well and he fell and he said to me, I hit a terrible blow, my hand hurts a lot, I think I have suffered a fracture and I have to get up in weeks to see how I do. Well, I don't miss that. Maybe what everyone sees on television is the races, the atmosphere, the public, I'm going to miss that a lot. But the injuries, the stress, the traumas and the confrontations with rivals, no, one cannot miss it. In short, right now I'm fine the way I am. Espargaro, as well as his new role as a test and reserve rider, will also work as a TV presenter for DAZN who broadcast MotoGP in Spain. It is a role which Danny Pedrosa and Jorge Lorenzo already hold. It's going to be a little different from Danny's because I'm going to be at the races. My role as a commentator at the races is to bring the technical field a little closer to people's homes because we're seeing lately how motorcycles look more and more like F1 with more aerodynamics and more technical gadgets on the bike. That is often very difficult to understand. People may not know why a rider in the middle of the race starts to slow down and slows down and is overtaken by another competitor. Or how factories work and why a factory works better on one circuit and not on another and perhaps all that is technical can be brought a little closer to the viewer from the circuit. I think it is a very interesting job.